around town, they're supposed to be giving us reparations. Hmm. I think it's $300,000 per person, per descendant of slaves born in the 19th century. <laughs> that would be almost right if they didn't create a new digital currency and they needed a large amount of money to be circulating very quickly in order for this digital currency to uphold just as much value as their U.S. dollar once did. It's almost like we're being set up. Exactly like we're being set up. The truth is always in plain sight. They don't give a damn about us. They have never gave a fuck about us. Anything that they give you is meant to oppress you. These are not our reparations. This has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with them and the currency that they create. See, the real currency is not dollars nor cents. It is us. Sorry. <clears throat> Want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. And salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And apparently, there's a now a huge push for reparations, all right? And as you heard this young lady say, <clears throat> she believes it's uh, to have a flood of money in for the digital currency, all right? And, and, you know, we are not ignorant to same devices, matter of fact. Let's get that. Because everything goes back to the birthright. And Esau is not going to give you anything for your benefit. All right? Now, I'm not sure she uh, knows she's an Israelite. All right? But that's the spirit of the Lord filling the world. Because this devil can't hide himself. All right? This is, matter of fact, let me write that down. We'll get that next. <clears throat> all right so this is second corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11 lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices and one of his devices is this digital currency all right now if this is true regarding uh 300,000 to descendants of slaves from the early 1900s you know jake gonna jump all on top of that all right, and that's a snare, and that's a trap that Esau is laying for you. All right, now, again, I said I don't know whether or not she's been watching, but it's you know, ever since this Kanye Kyrie, you know, thing, you got ordinary Jake saying we the real Jews. All right, so she might know. Okay, but again, that's just an example uh, of your how about shall shall fill in the word where our enemies now are being looked at closely. People are wondering, why are you doing this? You haven't did this this whole time. What would be the benefit for you to gain? All right? And that's how they narrowly looking upon this man. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 7. For the Spirit of the Lord fill of the world, and that which contain of all things have knowledge of the voice. 
Therefore, he that speak of unrighteous things cannot be here. So he is being searched out now. All right. On all levels, people are not oblivious to, to what Esau is doing. Why? Because the spirit of the Lord is filling the world. All right. It says, therefore, he that speak of unrighteous things cannot be hid. Neither shall vengeance when it punisheth pass by him. Right. When it's time to pay the piper, you're going to pay the piper. Point blank period. That is required of you. It says for inquisition. What is inquisition? A prolonged, intense questioning for inquisition shall be made into the councils of the ungodly, the upper echelon, the wicked elite, all right? The 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 international bankers. Inquisition is being made into their councils. That's why you have Eve, you know, thinking about this. We're going to go back to that video, you know, regarding what? Why they all of a sudden now want to pay reparations of 300,000, right? It says, and the sound of his words shall come unto the Lord for the manifestation, the revealing, all right? That word manifest means clear to the eye or mind, all right? For the manifestation of his wicked deeds, see? So he can't be hid anymore, all right? And we're not ignorant to your devices. Let's go back. Now I want to take it back just a little bit. It's like a three minute clip. The truth is always in plain sight. They don't give a damn about us. They have never gave a fuck about us. Right. And they haven't. All right. Let's get something real quick. We're gonna we're gonna go back to the video, but it's about edification. And edification comes from the scriptures. Let's go to Proverbs. Because <clears throat> you said they don't give a fuck about us. And she's correct. All right. Con see the title of the, of, the, of the chapter? Contrast the upright and the wicked. This is Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 10. A righteous man regard of the life of his beast. Right. If your ox is in a hole, guess what? You're going to try and find that ox. You're going to try and help him out that hole, right? Or in, in modern day terms, if, you, if your dog get hit, you're not just going to leave your dog to, to his fate. You're going to try and take him to the vet and see about him, right? It says, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. So this this uh, reparations that they're trying to present to you, it's, it's meant as a snare, as a trap. All right, to catch you up, to take that thing thing. Because all roads lead to the MOTB. Any fiat currency, any digital currency you have, guess what? It's going to lead to the MOTB, all right, which is the karagma, all right, which is that thing thing, that see here, as our apostles affectionately call it, all right? Because we're having to speak in code now. Why? Because the truth is showing forth more and more, and they're going to hide these things, all right? Let's go back to the video. Anything that they give you is meant to oppress you. Hey, that's what the scripture said. The tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. All right. And she said, anything that they give you is meant to oppress you. man. Anything that they give you. All right. These are not our reparations. This has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with them and the currency that they create. See the real... See that? Everything to do with them and the currency they create. All right? And she's right on partial of that. But it has everything to do with us. It's about that birthright, man. All right? About them trying to get that birthright back. Okay? So, 
currency. It's not dollars nor cents. It is us. And if you submit to this man thing, all right, you're ultimately saying you want him to be your master forever. Matter of fact, what is that? Uh, <clears throat> Exodus 21. Yeah. Yeah. Exodus 21 and 1. Now these are the judgments which, which thou shalt set before them. If thou buy a Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. But the Lord set up guidelines for us, uh, you know, having our brother, all right, in slavery or captivity, right? It says, if he came in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he were married, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master have given him a wife and she have borne him sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall be the master's. And he shall go out by himself. And if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, my children, I will not go out free. And he, hey, Jake is going to say this, man. I love my life. That's what Jake going to say. And he's going to take that thing, thing. All right. He's going to submit to the will of Esau. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges and he sh also excuse me and he shall also bring him to the door or to the doorpost and his master shall bore his ear through with an all see that pale that stake all right that carocks and he shall serve him forever see that so it's about the birthright and if you submit to this dying thing all right, you're going to be had in derision and try none the foot, as the scriptures say. Well, let's go back. It's always been this. <laughs> yeah, she's right. It's always been this, that perpetual hatred. All right, that thing didn't change. All right, and that's why the Lord is not going to turn away the punishment thereof. This has nothing to do with us. See, she 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 possesses a little truth, right? A little understanding, all right. But it has everything to do with us. The children of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right. And the speckled birds that look like the other nations, but their spirit goes back to the children of Israel, man. All right, to the to the men of the children of Israel, all right. And everything to do them they're going to make a debate about it they're going to create issues around it ignore it their facade is cracking oh. ignore it Their facade is cracking. See that? Their facade is cracking. Yeah, that false presentation that they've been presenting to the people is now cracked. All right? They're not able to get off with the well-laid plans. The Lord has taken the wisdom away from Esau. All right? What is that? Jeremiah 49, Obadiah, right? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? So it's now cracking your wall, man. And now your infrastructure, all right, your whole way of doing things is falling. And that's why you got to resort to pushing forth reparations, all right, to, to strengthen your digital currency, which is going to lead to the digital R. You see? Their currency is no longer valuable. This is not about us. Oh. 
We're taking our land back. You see Eve. So she can listen to somebody. All right. Uh, obviously, she has a zeal for the most high, but not according to knowledge. Let's get something to close it out. All right. Point is made. You trust this man. You're going to be had in derision. Try none to foot. All right. That's why the scriptures tell us never trust our enemy. We're going to get that. All right. But all roads lead to the MOTB. Point blank period. <clears throat> Ecclesiastes chapter 12. I'm going to jump around. In verse 10, never trust thine enemy. For like as iron resteth, so is his wickedness. And how do we know the so-called white man Esau Edom is our enemy? Well, the track record proves it. All right. Their fruit bears who they are. All right. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. See, beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. He's still that fucking devil. Can the Ethiopian change his... Let's get that. Uh, or the leopard his spots. Let's get that real quick. Is that uh Jeremiah... Jeremiah 13. Um, yeah, can this damn devil change? No, he can't. Jeremiah 13 and 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the lepers his spot? His spots. Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. See, Esau is accustomed to do evil. It was bred in him. That's who he is. So he's not going to change. All right? So that rust have not been altogether wiped away. Okay? Let's jump down <clears throat> to verse 16. It says, An enemy speak of sweetly with his lips. Right? We're trying to give you reparation. We're trying to pay for past transgressions, right? But little do you know, it, it's meant as a trap, as a snare, all right? An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, and in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity... He will not be satisfied with blood. See that? He's not going to be satisfied with blood. And this is an opportunity, all right, for them to uh, lock down on this digital currency. Hey, December the 13th. We're a little less than three days, four days away, man. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. So he's initiating the adversity that you're going through. What is that problem, reaction, solution, order out of chaos, right? It says, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. See, though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his counsel is right when the the trickery and the wiles cease to work this nigga gonna come down with great wrath man all right and he's gonna mandate you take that thing thing that digital all that karagma that c to the h to the i to the p all right and again if you take it you're gonna be head in derision that's why the warning is going out that's gonna be it for the lesson Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, come next to you with another lesson. Till the next time, I say, Shalom.